Hi, I'm Alan Hawes. I'm standing here in what I always call the most beautiful place on earth. This is my house. Uh, the creek you see in the backyard right over here is called the Elkhorn Creek. And right now it looks, oh, you know, it's very happy and easy and nice. It's not complicated at all. But sometimes when it starts raining or when it really starts raining, this thing can go from nice and idyllic to where it's a raging cauldron of insanity. And actually from where I'm standing, the level of the floor of my house is about probably 15-ish feet above my head. So the water goes up and up and then it spills out into the field in my backyard and then it gets in my barn and then it gets in my house. And long before much of that happens, my wife starts yelling at me. So uh, when I took over the PSOC group and the PSOC software a number of years ago, I needed to have a real project. And I thought, hey, what I should do is I should build a PSOC based sensor to tell how deep the water is. Um, one of the first things I learned is that water, fresh water, at uh, room temperature at sea level is 0.53 feet per PSI. So I wanted to put a sensor in so I could have an, uh, an IoT based creek. So this creek is actually IoT. You can find it at www.elkhorn-creek.org. There's a web server that I ran, which I'll talk to you about, that measures how deep the water is. The way it does that is I have a measurement specialties uh, pressure sensor that's down this way in the creek. The pipe has got the pressure sensor sticking through the end of it, and then it's sealed. And there's a wire that runs from the edge of the pressure sensor all the way down the PVC pipe, all the way up into the barn. In the barn, it's attached to a PSOC, and specifically it's attached to a 51.1 ohm precision resistor. And if you do the math, V equals IR, you'll find that 4 to 20 milliamps into a 51.1 ohm resistor yields 1.022 volts. And if you know anything about analog to digital converters, you'll know that 1.022 volts is like the most perfect voltage to run into an analog to digital converter. You'll get the most precision out of one of them in general. And so what you do is you measure how much voltage is going into that resistor because of the current loop. You convert that data into depth using the 0.53 PSI per foot equation. Now, the sensor is connected to a wire, and I just used a telephone wire in honor of the original design of these things. Um, specifically, the thing is a 4 to 20 milliamp current loop. This was the standard that AT&T, actually Bell Labs, created to signal between telephone stations that were far apart. And the nice thing about using current to signal is it cancels out the voltage. So with uh, a long run of wire, you will get some amount of IR drop, voltage drop, because of the resistance of the wire. Well, these 4 to 20 milliamp loops, they don't care how long that is because they sense the amount of current. Uh, so this is a super cool way to, to, to solve this problem. And like I said, it was done for telephones. Then on the inside of the pipe, the wire runs up to the barn where the PSOC is that actually measures it.